August 1st, 1966, the city of Austin and really the whole country shocked and stunned by the mass shooting that happened on the UT campus that day as first responders rushed to the aid of the victims and took down the gunmen. Journalists arrived on scene as well to record what happened and to warn people listening to the radio and watching TV to stay away from the tower. One of those journalists is with us today. At the time, Neil Spels was the news director and anchor over at KTVC Channel 7. Good morning and welcome. Good morning. Thank you. Glad to be here. It's good to talk to you about this because just during the break, yeah. your memory is still so vivid about you heading to the scene. Kind of paint me a picture of, of your day. What happened? Well, what happened? We, we got word of shots being fired at the tower. Uh, on the police radio. I was preparing a newscast for noon on radio. We were an AM, FM, TV combination. Okay. And then when we suddenly realized oh, all hell was breaking loose yeah. out there, I jumped in a mobile unit, a radio mobile unit, and headed to the campus to start reporting. You know, they say uh, police, fire, or first responders, so are reporters. Yeah. Uh, we go straight to the action where it's happening. and. We rushed out there, and not just me. I, I was the one who was broadcasting it live all the way through yes, until he was killed in the aftermath. But we had photographers in the video that you see here. This is video that we shot that day. Wow. And uh, from a number of photographers on our staff and photojournalists uh, who were out there covering it all. And interestingly, all these pictures were never live uh, because it's film. And we had to bring the film back to the station and process, and process it, it in yeah. order to get it on the air. So the first time all that film was shown was at 5.30 p.m. Austin time. Wow, and it happened at what time? It happened to, oh, during the noon hour. Yeah. So what happened uh, was we did have, it was live television, but KLRN, the university TV station, barely, you know, in its infancy, sure. took a picture of the top of the tower with their studio camera it was a static shot, just the observation deck on up. And our station, back at Channel 7 at that time, they uh, took their KLRN's picture and overlaid my radio broadcast. I see. So that was very primitive live television. Very creative <laughs> at the same time yeah. as well. And this, Neil, was before you had 24-hour um, news cycles, oh, before you had social media. Before so this, you had cell phones. Before you had cell phones. So <laughs> this was a time where yeah. people had to sit, watch, and wait yes. uh, the reports to come in. And here we are 50 years later. A and I'm wondering, how this has changed just you as a journalist throughout time throughout throughout you know as a person yeah. how this changed the city of austin well let me tell you it changed the city of austin and it changed all cities all over the country when this happened it had never happened like this before mass shooting on a campus ever before right. and at that moment other campuses and other cities suddenly realized they had to be ready for this sort of thing mm -hmm. there were no weapons that the police could fire from the ground up to the top of the tower. They didn't have any weapons oh, that wow. reached that far. So other cities, I think LA was the first, created SWAT teams. Mm -hmm. And so the SWAT teams that are everywhere now, and when something like that happens in Austin today, hey, you see the convergence of police right there at that moment. Right. At that time, the police, did, they were not organized. They didn't have a command control center at all. Uh, we had unfettered access to the campus where we were able to drive through the campus and report right there in the middle of it. Did you ever think when you were doing that that you were putting your life in danger I, as well? I, there yeah. is people around you, Neil, yeah. who are being taken away not knowing yeah. if they're dead or alive. Oh, yeah. No, I, I hate to say this, but no, I didn't. I, and I think the reason I didn't have fear, I was so focused on trying to broadcast what happened without stopping. Mm. In other words, we're, we're, it was a push to talk microphone hooked to a mobile unit and just sitting there trying to describe what was going on and wow. reporting what was happening and thinking, thinking, thinking about what, what can we say, stay away, you know, describing uh, as it was going on. So, no, I, uh, yeah, bullets went, you know, they went all around, but I, <laughs> I wasn't a hero. Uh, I stayed crouched down uh, and used the door of the mobile unit as a shield and also leaned out the window uh, when I could to get, uh, and I'd stand out as I would get out from time to time. But I kept, I kept down, so. Well, you, if you weren't a hero, you're definitely part of history because <laughs> your notes are now part of this exhibit that is on display on this day. At, uh, that's right, the Austin History Center. 
what a great operation they have. And they, they pulled stuff together like you wouldn't believe on this event and everything else in Austin. Yes, thank you, Neil, so much for being here. I appreciate your time. Always, always a oh. good pleasure to see you. Oh, yeah, likewise. I enjoyed <laughs> being with you. Thank there. you. Let's